welcome back or if you're new hello welcome i'm kp and um, hope you're all right how's everybody doing the smiles are hiding the frustration of the uk lockdown still hello light yeah so in today's video as you've seen from the title um, we're going to do an unboxing of my new air fryer that's just come. I've wanted one of these for so long. Um, I've been watching other people using them and I did have a tea fell one that used to circulate the air around with a blade and it used to mush up like my sweet potatoes. So I saw on one of my fellow YouTubers, The Urban Cook, he had one where you pushed in with like the tray. I was like revolutionary. I need that in my life. So um, that was quite a few months ago. So we have been researching them. I've been watching loads of YouTube videos, as you do, to see which one is the best. There's loads of different models out there, but I've gone with the one that I've gone with. So I'm gonna unbox that. I'm gonna use it as well. So I thought we could bake something in it to show you how that works. And then I need a little bit of a tidy up. I've got, um, yes, we'll probably do a little bit quicker of a tidy up. You can get inspired, inspired, inspired. <laughs> a little bit of cleaning motivation. And then let's just play it by ear. Also, I wanted to show you that I've just finished. I've started a new hobby as well. So um, it's resin, but I actually didn't realize how dangerous resin the epoxy is. So, um, those videos will either be up and I will link them for you to go and watch for the playlist or um, they'll be up later. But yeah, so I have just finished this. Come on, Canon. Canon, Canon. I think, can you see? And now my phone's ringing. And now my mum's ringing me. <laughs> see, yeah, I thought this was really cute. I'll clear, don't clear out. <laughs> Behind the scenes, I've got some rubbish on the floor here. So this is it. Oh, I'm so excited. I know it's just an air fryer and I do get very excited, but I get excited about stuff, okay? Do you want to know the brand that we went for? We went for the Ninja air fryer, 5.2 litres. And the reason I went for a Ninja is because I have the Ninja uh, blender. Um, I did some reviews on all the other ones you can get. And I was actually looking at getting like a cheap one from Aldi, um, Argos, but um, you know, like a cheap, cheapy. But the thing is, I know I'm gonna use this loads. Okay, everything you can do and I've been YouTubing and there's so many things you can do look uh, Max oh so you do crispy chicken fish thing oh, I've got some fish fingers in the uh, freezer mm-hmm but today I thought well keep watching and I'll tell you what we make you can do cakes you can do um, the bananas you can reheat you can cook from frozen it's very let me just get, why don't I just put the knife? If you have an air fryer and you have lots of suggestions for what you cook in it, leave it below. Yeah, it'd be so cool. I mean, maybe we could do a live together. Leave me some comments below and we could do a live air fry together. We could do a fry off. Ooh, so this is the unboxing part of my video. So when you open it up, it gives you a quick start guide using your air fryer functions. You can roast, bake, reheat, dehydrate, uh, crisp, what it said on the front. Uh, you can do a preheat for three minutes. You've got a crisper plate. Oh. Right, so we open it up. We have got pamphlet. We've got some very good packaging with it on the floor. Oh, you don't key. So in here, right, I'm just gonna lift this out. Let's this cellophane off. It's a really 
nice colour as well, isn't it? Oh, look how sparkly and clean and new and sparkly that looks. Ooh. Oh. Let's take it off. Nice. Nice and big. So we've got temperature, we've got maximum crisp, air fry, roast, bake, reheat, dehydrate, start, stop, power. That does. 240 Celsius is perfect for ready made frozen food. So how cool, you can cook it straight from frozen. Ooh. And then what we found this side. So on here it tells you 200 Celsius for chicken, and then it tells you how many minutes, 22 to 26, and then we've got maximum crisp, uh, 15 minutes, 200 for some pork, fish, cakes. Ooh, how lovely. I'm really liking the colour, I'm liking how easy that's going to be to clean. I know you can get some sheets that you can put in the bottom as well. Um, yeah, that was simple wasn't it? Put the plug off, start guide, instructions, and like a warning. It so gives you like your temperatures, gives a couple of recipes. I want I want the sweets. Has it got puddings in here? This is what I'm looking for. Do an omelette. I saw somebody do um, boil an egg. It did take 16 minutes, but you could boil an egg. Oh, there's no, there's no cakey wakeys. That's what I was hoping for. Some cakes. Oh, yes, we have banana cake with cream cheese and mascarpone frosting, mm. and blueberry tarts. Right, let's get on and make something. Right, before I do um, some donuts, um, JP and I have been really good this year so far. We've been having oops, going here smoothies uh, for breakfast and stuff. So, as well as other things for breakfast, but generally we have been having a fruit smoothie. So, I'm gonna get my ingredients out. My battery just died. Luckily, I always have one charged up. Right, look at this. Um, the sun's shining through today. Amazing. 25th of January. Beautiful sunshine. Right, as I was saying, so yeah. Go back downstairs, I'm out of breath. I actually exercise quite a bit. I do not know why I get a shortness of breath. Maybe because I'm old. <laughs> Gizmo. Right, so yes. So we've been having, um, hello light, smoothies. Hey, let me just put you on here. Uh, mango, pineapple, uh, <laughs> mango, banana, turmeric, apple juice, green sprouts, broccoli sprouts, and an apple. That's what we've been having. And it tastes quite yummy. You can use orange juice, you can use water, you can use anything you want. I think it's the mango that makes it so yum. And I use frozen, then it's nice and cold. And I have started freezing my bananas too. So I put about 500 of apple juice or whatever I've got left. Because my son, Luke, loves a bit of apple juice. Oh, and turmeric. Did I say turmeric? Turmeric. Dash of turmeric. It's so simple. Bananas. I 
I freeze my broccoli sprouts. So again, all nice and cold. Probably about a handful of mango. Oh, it smells so yummy. Maybe a couple handfuls. Then if you can't get any more in, what I do is I blitz this, what I've got, to make room for everything else. Let me just blitz this. Make some room. Ooh, a lush. And then cut up my apple. Let me just cut that up quickly. I only do it into slices, you can't see what I'm doing. I haven't got my chopping board, so I'm just cutting it on here. Just into slices. And this my normally has it. Has what's left over. I'm surprised he hasn't come in. You can see me. Put the lid back on. Oh, is it all gonna go? And then this is so delicious. Oh, I have spillage. Wipe this back in. Oh, fiddle sticks. I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. So I've put them into these really cute cups, glasses, and uh, taste it. Oh, it's delicious. It's sweet enough that you don't need to add anything to it. It's cold enough because of the frozen ingredients. It's delish. Right. Cheers. I'm going to give this to JP. Make some donuts. Two ingredient. Two ingredient donuts. Greek yogurt. Don't know why, but that's what the recipe says. I'll link down below the recipe of who I got it from as well. Because I think she should have some credit. I found her over the weekend and I was super impressed. Okay, so we actually need... Ugh. We need a cup of self-raising flour. So I believe a cup is equivalent to 128 grams. I do have cups, um, but you know, we'll do it this way. Do you know what, I didn't sift my flour. It's the first time I've not sifted my flour. Cool. And we need three quarters of a cup of um, yogurt, which according to my conversion is 96 grams. So let's see. Oh, that looks lush. Ninety four. Do is blend in the yogurt <laughs> and look, the instructions still there and the flour. So let's get that done. Get those fingers in there. This only makes, I believe, four donuts. So it's, if you need to make more, then you can just do a bigger, a bigger helping, a bigger size. Just stuck to the bottom of here. So I think that's coming together. So I think what I need to do now is use my hands. This is the bit I don't really like. Ooh. Good thing about these donuts as well two ingredients no yeast no having to rest no having to wait they're quite quick and simple to make and um i'm going to use the h word quite healthy because it's just flour and yogurt and it just depends on your um ingredients that you put on top your sprinkles or chocolate or what toppings you put on. So that's coming together quite nicely. That's not too sticky, it's not too dry, and it's coming together. You just keep pressing it in and twisting it around and then all these little bits will come together. I need a little bit more yogurt, but I'm gonna keep going.
I'm going to turn this on and I'm going to preheat it. So this is the first time I've turned it on. Oh, how exciting. And then I want to preheat. <laughs> so I'm just going to look at it. So temperature, oh, 200. I'll just do a 200. I don't know if that's going to be right or not. And then I'm going to just preheat for, oh, no, I don't need 20 minutes. Probably just need to do... I don't know. Should have read the instructions, KP. I'm going to do a six minute preheat. <coughs> Hopefully, I took everything out inside it. <laughs> I'm sure I did. But yeah, let's let that have a little preheat. We're going to cut this into four. roll them into a sausage. It's actually drying out a little bit, so let's just see if I can get this. Oh, I needed a little bit more yogurt. Although that's quite sticky. What I'm gonna do So you can do this two ways. You can roll it into a sausage or you can do it in a bowl, put your thumb in and make the donut. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Given my mixture is probably not the best. It's my first time I'm doing it. I don't think I'm doing too well. Too, too bad, too well, too bad. spray these with some oil uh, and then we're going to put them in. So I'm going to put these in here, oil down. Ooh. They've gone in for six minutes on the highest temperature that I've got, which is 210. Okay, it's halfway, and I'm just gonna double check, see what they look like. Ooh. Okay, are we ready to see what they look like? Oh boy. Hmm. Okay. Not too bad. Lost the hole in the middle. But, um, okay. I may have overcooked these. <laughs> Six minutes. Well, who knows? What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna decorate the tops and then we can uh, suss out whether I've overcooked them or not. We'll break them in half. I've melted some chocolate orange and I have done some icing. So, let's put some icing. Ooh, a nice thick, yummy icing over one of them. Made this just with lemon and icing sugar. <laughs> I'm gonna do the other one, so I'm gonna do two and two. Oh my goodness, this is so funny. Well, I didn't expect them to come out looking like this, but come on, it's my first time. They might be really soft and gooey and nice inside, mightn't they? And my icing is drying up. <laughs> All right, let's put some sprinkles on top. Yeah. <laughs> And then what we've got here is chocolate orange. So I think what we'll probably do dip 
I mean, we'll talk about that. This is Aero, you know, the bubbly chocolate orange. Kind of give that a really good oh, coating. And then this one. A really good coating. Oh, still nice and warm. Mm -mm -mm. Some extra, actually, I was going to, I might do the same sprinkles they just look so cute and there we go <laughs> my first attempt at using an air fryer and making donuts let's cut one in half see if they're soft and gooey inside yeah look the outside is all right Loving that Aero chocolate from Aldi. Right, I'm going to take them up to JB <laughs> to try. I think potentially could have done with a little bit longer. I might get one of those thermometers that you can put in and then you can test when your dough is completely um, cooked or not. But for a first attempt, yeah, I'm impressed. Right, let's take them up to JP. I might put some more chocolate on them though. Okie dokie, JP's verdict. They're not donuts, but they're not donuts though, are they? <laughs> not donuts, but they taste nice. They taste nice. I quite like them. Thanks for watching that, guys. I hope you really enjoyed it. Um, I didn't do an ending because it was going to go into another piece of editing, but we like doing the editing now, the video, it's way long. So I'm going to cut that piece in half and then put that onto another video. Otherwise, I'm just going to totally bore you all. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have got any hints and tips on air frying, leave them down below. And if anybody wants to do a live with me, let's get on and boogie so have a lovely day don't forget hit subscribe like notification bell and i'll catch you all next time